Ladies and gentlemen, your next bout of the evening is sponsored by Smoky Mountain CBD, proud sponsors of our Of The Night Awards. It is a catchweight bout at 165 pounds. It's scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Your first fighter fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 163 pounds. He has an amateur record of three wins with just one loss. He's representing 10th Planet Decatur out of Decatur, Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, they call him the Korean Jesus, Kyle Castellan. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 171 pounds. He also has an amateur record of three wins with one loss. He's representing Team Manning and Gentlemen's MMA. He's from Radford, Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hollywood Dustin Bailey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, because of a weight miss, Dustin Bailey has forfeited one point on all judges' scorecards. That's Your not, referee is Luke Wilson. That's uncharacteristic for Bailey. I'm not sure the circumstances surrounding that weight miss. Um, that being said, he, he did miss weight, so he does pay the point penalty. Man, just looking around, it's a who's who in this crowd right now. Castelline's got Justin Jamar, the sniper, in his corner. Where you been, Justin Jamar? But we'll get to that at another time, man. Bailey and Castelline underway right now. During that whole introduction, I just saw Castelline just staring down Bailey, and it, it just it had me more pumped up for this fight. Every time we see Castellan, he, he looks to be in better physical shape. He really does. He's constantly improving. He's so active. And he's another young man I met, and it's just so fascinating to me how kind and nice these guys are. And then when that door shuts, they turn into different different things. But both of these guys are an example of that. Ooh, Bailey's going to have right. to defend the takedown here. He's already on his back, but he's hunting for a neck. Castellan dove for that one and still got it. Trying to position to get over on full mount. Castelline's last bout where he beat Chewy, and I'm sorry to jump in, I just want to mention, it was Castelline who missed weight against Chewy Rodriguez, oh, wow. and he ended up pulling it out of the fire uh, with a third round submission in a fight where he would have been deducted the point. So now he's on the opposite end of that, just kind of an interesting wrinkle. I don't know if you noticed that, it was a little fun fact. Uh, Castelline took him down right in front of his corner, and uh, Bailey gave a little smile and winked to <laughs> Elkins uh, in Castelline's corner because they're about three inches apart. Hey, man, Bailey's been around, dude. You know, he's obviously in a tough spot right here. He's got to dig, get back to his feet. <laughs> As uh, he looks at he's not, and nods. Yeah, That's amazing. He's, he's not going to panic. He's a cool, calm, and uh, collected individual. But right now, Castelline's enjoying some top control, and Bailey is Bailey's just kind of moving around there. He does have that overhead hook. Yeah, with a name like Hollywood, you know he'd be a showman uh, right in front of the commentary booth right now. Yeah, it looks like a scramble might initiate here any moment. Both guys... Got their feet in the cage. Bailey staying calm on bottom and looking to switch. And he's going to have a couple big explosions, so we don't want to go too high up the body too quick. <laughs> there it is, some pretty intelligent advice coming from the corner of Castelline. And uh, Bailey, you know, he's, he's, yeah. he's a former broadcast colleague, but I'm calling it right down the middle. What can I say? Yeah, you are. I'm calling it as a fun fan <laughs> watching Castelline's corner. Tell him what Bailey's going to do. Bailey looks at us and gives us a wink and smile like, won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. When uh, a fighter can hear the advice from their corner, so can their opponent. So bear that in mind. And I'm just a fan of any fighter that <laughs> is in the middle oh, of a, a guy punching their face. We Ooh. got a Von Flew starting to take hold here. What kind of night are we having here? <laughs> I know, I know. It's a, it's a rare submission is special. Is a tiger coming out after this? Kyle's just got to increase that vertical angle to the point that it turns into a blood choke, and we're getting close. Yeah, he doesn't like that, actually. That is, oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow, wow. Nice use of the legs there from Bailey, and Bailey. he's going to end up on top. Man, that's such a veteran trick there from that's Dustin Bailey, and he's going to end up with at least half guard. Oh, crazy scramble. He's got to watch Thanks out. Seconds left. Castellan is an accomplished grappler. I mean, anytime a 10th planet Decatur guy's got a hold of your All legs, right, you got to. First round, gentlemen, let him hear you, Nashville. Now, tough round to score, but Castellan had a lot of control in that round. Yeah, Castellan controlled most of that round, so I kind of give it the edge to him, but to see Bailey stay calm on the bottom, he's still smiling in his corner as we speak. 
And then to reverse from the high, if we had a Von Flew, Dylan. I know. <laughs> I mean, it looked like it was fixing to happen for I'm going to watch every fight show with you. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of rare stuff here tonight. Now, listen, Bailey seems to be composed. Uh, didn't really take a ton of damage in that round, right? He just got controlled. But uh, probably gave that round away, so he's going to need to really yeah. reinsert yeah. himself back into the fight. I agree. I have a 1-0 Castellan, but not a lot of damage. Bailey looks ready ready at Hollywood I'm just I love this fight I love this sport this atmosphere and the fact that we are just finishing up the undercard I know still to ah, come I love it still to come there will be a 20 minute intermission at the end of this bout I'm gonna go find that parrot yeah find the parrot get yourself get him, some, uh, get him a headset for the parrot some hydration sign some autographs yeah I mean this is a, this is a big time event get out enjoy yourself but come on back 20 minutes after this fight concludes you will have Aries Presents Nashville Underground main card action coming your way. Bailey and Castelline back at it here, round two. Round two, Bailey and Red, Castelline, ooh, he shoots again, but this time too deep. I think nice Bailey ball. saw that one yeah. coming. Yeah, that worked the first time, not the second. Ooh, Bailey's working this. You can see the experience in Bailey right now. Yeah, you saw uh, the takedown attempt from Castelline. Bailey put two hands on the back of the head and back, pushed. Kyle right into the mat and then tried to jump on his back and right now he's still trying to hunt that back. Yeah, Bailey trying to get that oh, go for the hook. Nice defense by Castellan. You know, Castellan definitely a little rangier, a little faster. Bailey, I think, a little strong, a little more powerful. Nice. This is where you see the experience come in. When you don't have something, you let it go. Continue to move. And Bailey has stayed uh, kind of thinking about this Kimura here. He likes the angle. I think he likes the grip that he has on the forearm. But he's going to switch, in, switch oh, wow. to her naked and... Kyle's going to have to... Yeah, oh, not, nice. man, that's just two intelligent grapplers right yeah, there. That was beautiful. This is, this is exciting to watch as a jiu-jitsu guy. The Castellan, uh, you know, when he's been in these tag team bouts, the submission grappling, um, I can't recall him getting caught you know, he's normally the one catching. I've never catching. seen one of those. So. He's, he, oh, he's normally the one catching guys, not the one getting. Um, he's doing a good job of controlling that leg, not yeah. letting Bailey get full mount, and Bailey's working for it. So, I mean, if Bailey could sub him, it's a, it's a real feather in his cap. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. This is kind of like the tale of two rounds, right? First round, oh, uh, yeah. Castellan had control, not much damage. This round. Bailey with the top control, not necessarily a ton of damage, but maybe he's thinking about a head and arm, trying to improve some position. Still got time to get one of these in. Just a minute up left in the round. Now Bailey moving into side control. Nice job by Castellan to build a base, and now he's yeah. going to enjoy some control. Some A-level grappling right here for amateur fighters. Bailey taking exception to the notion that he is tired. He did miss weight by a pound, so bear that in mind. And honestly, the way this fight's going, that point is huge. I forgot about the point. Yeah, yeah that's, that's just, oh, man. This is why, yeah. It's not many point. strikes have been landed, right? So this is all going to be how the judges are perceiving these exchanges, these scrambles. Wow, and wow. once again, wow. man. That's oh, a scramble. Right, right at the end of the round, they go for broke. You can have 12 fights in a night and not see that scramble well, once, and you've seen it twice. It for a third and final round. We've seen matches with some high-level taekwondo, some high-level kickboxing, now some high-level grappling. This is, if you're an MMA fan, you're getting the best, you're getting everything. You're getting the appetizer, dinner, dessert. And we have not even got to the main card yet. Bailey's got the American Ninja Warrior in his corner over there. They're talking him up. Honestly, we're probably, if not if not for that point, if not for that point, uh, we'd probably be looking at a, a tied contest. But if it is 1-1, it's actually 1-0 in favor of Castellan as he's listening to Justin Jamar in his 10th Planet corner. Uh, he's got to be feeling pretty good about where he's at at the moment. Yeah, and hopefully they're reminding him about that point. That's a big thing in this corner. You know, you get so caught up in the fight. I'm sure he knows, but here we go. Castellan clapping, getting the crowd into it. 
Yeah, yeah the, Hollywood. The man in uh, team man in gentlemen's MMA there, the Virginia boys. They've got Bailey's head on straight, and uh, he is a high IQ fighter. He yes. knows that he yes, needs to come out it. here, have a big round three. Here we go, kick and another leaping takedown. Somehow, even when he misses, he still gets to make connection to the body. And yeah. Got him against the cage. Just Bailey's got to prioritize damage, and you can see it looks like he's a little more fixated on getting some strikes in. But right now, this is good for Castellan. Oh, very good. These are some disciplined grapplers right here. Being smart, taking their time. Letting go when they don't have it. Bailey's going to have to try and build a vertical base here, and it looks like he's trying to get his legs free, yeah. but... Castellan's so rangy, you know, he's got those legs that can really just impact grappling, they can impact striking. Uh, striking. Yeah, the, uh, say what striking. you want, dude. You almost just got attacked by a parrot. It can be striking. Yeah, man, we're having a magical night here at Marathon Music Works. Uh, really awesome venue for us to, to have this underground event at, and this fight is the featured undercard bout of the evening. Now, as much as I said I love Hollywood with the smiles and the talking back with the corner earlier in the fight, uh, with a 1-1 fight and you lost a point, this is not the time to be doing that. I'd, I'd be working very hard on getting back on my feet. Yeah, minute 45 remaining in this one, and Castellan slowly improving his position. Yeah, he's going for the pass. He's got to, he needs to get one more leg out. And Bailey does a great job of making sure that doesn't happen. Remember, fans, at the conclusion of this bout, we will have a 20-minute intermission. Coming back to you after that intermission, two amateur title fights, three pro bouts. Of course, the main event we're talking about, Ralston Thomas, Andrew Stewart. If you think the crowd's been loud, baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. The party parrot is going to be going crazy. Yeah. And those two amateur title fights, I mean, those are as pro of an amateur fight oh, you're going to get. Certainly. You're talking about Julian Serrato, Finn Martin, Dylan Booker, Ku Two. So a couple of uh, Nashville MMA fighters looking to fend Holmes' uh, territory. But, man, they've got some stiff competition in those title fights. This might be the first fight we don't have somebody from just the city of Nashville competing right yeah, now. Yeah, Nashville MMA getting a break on this one. You got a Virginia boy taking on an Alabama boy. I, I love it. I'm all for it. Castellan staying on top. 20 seconds remain. If it ends like this, I, I mean. That point, point is, yeah, the yeah. point is probably going to do. Do Bailey and Bailey trying to explode. But, man, it's tough because Castellan's such an intelligent grappler. I do think it is going to end like this, so we will go to the judges' decision. Yeah, the Decatur, right, the Decatur guys, boys are clapping their hands. Hard rounds. We are headed to a judges' scorecard. The Decatur boys are clapping their hands. The sniper likes what he saw, and uh, I happen to think that they've got reason to cheer. Uh, we're probably moments away from Kyle Castellan salting away what could potentially be his fourth victory as an amateur. Uh, his second consecutive victory in the Aries cage. This is just so exciting for the future of the sport. These guys, like... <laughs> such a young age still I mean this is impressive you got Dustin Bailey over there rapping with Warrior Home Improvements Greg Hopkins Greg hopped on the commentary table for a portion of the Facebook prelims that was great to hear from Greg you know Greg and Dustin go way back they uh I mean you start seeing guys who fought at Aries Fight Series 2 and 5 you know they're gonna have some more stories to trade there with Mr. Hopkins but right now Kyle Castellan coming alive hanging over the cage showing some love to his fan base and He's got the kind of personality where even if you have a fight like that where it's a, you know, goes to decision, maybe not a striker's paradise, right? I, no, I think we're no. probably in the low double digits as far as how many significant strikes landed. I mean, we were coming off of back-to-back -back knockouts. You can't get a knockout every time. Yeah, and Kyle Kessler's going to do that to a lot of guys. Oh, yeah. That and was some impressive grappling for an amateur fighter that, I, I, that I've seen in the South. A lesser competitor than Bailey oh. probably succumbs to that Von Fluke, yeah. you know? Oh, for sure. Bailey was able to hit a couple of really nice sweeps and improve his position. Uh, in the end, he just kind of ran out of, of time to solve the riddle that is Kyle Castellan. Korean Jesus, uh, you know, he's awaiting the, the judges' scorecards, but in all likelihood has secured his fourth 
amateur mixed martial arts victory. Yeah, and we take this break. I'm interested in walk through the crowd. We've been here all day when it was empty, and it looks pretty full in here. It's popping. It's popping. And I still don't think I still think the Stewies are on one of the pedal bikes on Broadway. <laughs> Yeah, you see those things cruising all over. Oh, I guarantee you they're going to roll in. It's going to, oh, man. You'd need about 200 of them to, you'd need about 200 of those pedal bikes to uh, Control, move yeah. the Stewie squad around because they are legion. All you got to do is take a look up there at that, uh, and you'll see it at the entranceway as the night progresses. The Stewie squad is in full effect. Um, Luke Wilson has got the fighters in position. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're about to get this decision. After this decision, we will be taking an intermission. Uh, for about 20 minutes, we will return after that with the National Undercard main card coming your way. And if you're watching on your phone, your computer, streaming on your TV, please come back because this is just a taste of what's to come. Watch on your phone if you got to. Yeah. But, man, I think this is a time for you to get home. Throw this thing on the big screen. Yeah, you HD. Know? We got a parrot joining us on broadcast coming up. Potentially, like, yeah. We got to get the we got to get the paperwork for that parrot. I, if, if he's got rabies or something, I will sign something. the form. I will sign it. Give me a pen. I will sign it. You know, it. I'm from the Northeast. Yeah, I want to make sure these animals are not just wild. I'm from the South. I don't care. Put it on my lap. <laughs> a rabid parrot running roughshod over the commentary table. All right. Well, listen. Enough horsing around. We have got the man with the answers to all the questions as far as who was victorious in this bout. We throw it now to Jeff Hobbs and his beautiful glittery jacket. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this bout went to a judge's scorecard. Judge Amato scored this bout 30-26, cast the line. Judge Dorn scored this bout 29-27, Bailey. And Judge Stewart scored this bout 28-28, for a draw. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Put it on the list as things I did not see coming. I said earlier that one point, that's what sucks you in these fights.